What's going on everybody? Jay Lawson here and I'm back with another video. Uh, yesterday I was looking at some ASVAB videos, uh, ASVAB practice test questions, and uh, a couple of concepts came across that I want to make sure to put out there that, that I, I want everybody to be familiar with because in later, uh, you know, higher level math, these things reappear and it's just an expectation that you know uh, what they mean. So I want to make sure that we're getting some practice with them now so that moving forward, it's second nature, you know, because once you get it to that point, you'll be able to look at these sets and figure these things out easily. So let's look at this question here. Well, first, we'll start by looking at this table. It looks like we got a table that shows weapons owned by soldiers. And we got number of weapons on the left. Number of soldiers on the right. And it shows you how many of each we have, right? All right. So now that we've looked at these, the data set. Let's go ahead and read the question so we can figure out what they're asking us, you know. And then uh, when I read the question, try to answer it on your own. If you don't know, take an educated guess and then. We'll go into it. There are quite a few new soldiers in the barracks. They are issued their weapons, which cannot be in their rooms. Above is a chart which shows how many weapons each soldier has. What is the mode of this chart? Okay, so let me give you a few seconds to try to answer it on your own. Okay, now. What we'll do is I want you to see what's going through uh, my thought process here. So one thing I see uh, with this question is sometimes soldiers and uh, other people, I uh, mean, you know, I mentioned soldiers because I'm an NCO but, and that uh, helps people with the ASVAB, but just anybody who's taking, uh, you know, doing math in general, because even in college, I noticed this, sometimes people confuse mode with mean, you know, mean being the average of the set. But that's not what the mode is. The mode is not the average. Um, the mode is the value that occurs the most in the set. So it's like the outcome value that occurs the most. So what do I mean by outcome value? Outcome value, okay, we got, we're talking about weapons. So number of weapons is what's most important here, like how many weapons. The number of soldiers is important too, but if you notice, this is a chart about weapons owned by soldiers. It's not the soldiers who own weapons. You know, the, the chart is giving us a range from zero to five of weapons and then on the right we have the you know it looks like close to what a little under 190 or so soldiers that uh have the uh that we have in this data set so when i say the mode is the value that occurs the most what i mean is we look at on the right because we know we have a uh, numerical zero through five on the left. The top number of soldiers has zero weapons. And we got some of the soldiers with one, some with two, some with three, four, and five. Obviously, if you think about that logically, that number should go down because very few people would probably have five weapons compared to somebody who has one, you know, or zero. So if we say what's the mode, we want to know what value occurred the most. So out of this set, 27 soldiers is the highest number that had the same amount, right? So if we made a chart, like a, a bar graph chart or something, the value that would be the highest would be the one value because it would have 27 participants. 
So 27 people had one weapon, which is higher than, say, like the 11 that had three, right? So the value that occurs the most in this set is one. Therefore, the mode is one. And that is not to be confused with the mean, which is the average. So if you were trying to get the average or the mean of this set, what you would have to do is add up all the occurrences and then divide by the number that you have in the set. So you'd have to add 24 zeros, 27 ones, 21 twos, 11 threes, two fours, and one five, and then divide by that total number of soldiers, right? And that would give you the average number of weapons for the set. And then the range would be from zero to five. I hope that cleared everything up for anybody that didn't fully understand mean, median, and mode. I'm sorry, uh, range, mean, and mode. And as always, thanks for listening. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. I'll be posting more very soon. Just remember, if you always aim at legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.